Berberine is having a comeback. It's estimated that it was used as far back as 3000 years ago. The ancient Egyptians used it as a remedy for plagues and it was also used in India for treating dysentery. Nowadays, it's a popular dietary supplement. I'm Joanna Marciszewska, a clinical dietitian, and in this video I will talk about the potential side effects of berberine, when you should avoid it, and some promising scientific studies on its benefits. Stay tuned to the end of this video and get a full understanding of berberine. When we read about the various dietary supplements online, we usually see lots of information about the benefits first and the potential side effects are only mentioned at the very end. I'd like to flip this structure because I know berberine is often used when it shouldn't be. It interacts with many important medications such as those for high blood pressure and diabetes. There are a lot of drugs that interact with berberine, so you should definitely check with your pharmacist or doctor to ensure it's safe for you to use with your current medications. Another point is that berberine has been and continues to be studied. There are quite a few scientific studies on berberine, but if we compare it to supplements like omega-3 acids, there are seven times fewer studies on berberine. These aren't long-term studies either. We also know that berberine can accumulate in the body and after two up to three months of daily supplementation, it may start to cause gastrointestinal symptoms like diarrhea, abdominal pain or bloating. Okay, now let's talk about the benefits. Berberine is poorly absorbed from the digestive tract, only about 5% is absorbed, but it has an incredibly beneficial effect on our small and large intestines. It modulates the gut flora, improving its state. But how does this happen? Firstly, it has antibacterial effects against pathogenic bacteria that can cause bacterial diarrhea, while also encouraging the growth of beneficial bacteria that produce butyric acid, which is good for our health. This overall improves the state of our gut flora in the large intestine. It's uh, also recommended for SIBO, which is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, due to the, its antibacterial properties and its ability to cure diarrhea, which is often a symptom of SIBO. Berberine has shown significant effects in treating diarrhea. It has been studied for treating bacterial diarrhea as well as chronic diarrhea associated with IBS. In bacterial diarrhea, taking 400 mg of berberine every 8 hours improved symptoms. In IBS, an 8-week study with 400 mg daily showed a reduction in diarrhea and abdominal pain. Berberine can also increase insulin sensitivity, making it a popular study subject among people with type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance. Daily supplementation has been shown to reduce glycated hemoglobin levels and improve post-meal glucose levels, suggesting it can work similarly to metformin. However, it's important to note that studies among diabetics usually last from 2 to 3 months, as gastrointestinal symptoms often appear after this period, causing participants to discontinue the supplement. Remember, metformin is a well-researched drug suitable for long-term use, whereas we still don't know enough about the berberine for long-term safety. If you don't tolerate metformin well, you might consider discussing berberine with your doctor as a periodic supplement to help regulate blood glucose level. Berberine can also help lower blood pressure in hypertension and may become part of treatment in the future. Additionally, it can improve your lipid profile by lowering triglycerides, raising HDL cholesterol and lowering LDL cholesterol. As you can see, berberine has a wide range of effects. However, always keep in mind the possible side effects and drug interactions. Think carefully before starting treatment and always consult your doctor if you're taking any medications. 
Let me know in the comments why you watched this video. I'm curious to know what sparked your interest in berberine. Is it diabetes, gut health, or just curiosity about this supplement? If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for regular updates on diet and supplements. Let's stay in touch and see you in the next video.